G'day folks. Well over the years we have filmed hundreds of incredibly talented people across the world. Many of these artists have gone on to produce their own videos as well. We hope you enjoy this great lesson from one of our Colour in Your Life artists. Buildings can be interesting subjects for drawings and paintings. Including buildings within a work can provide visual interest. Our viewpoint is important. The observer may view from above or from below. An understanding of perspective is desirable for whatever we decide. To build my house, I first of all determined my eye level and vanishing points. So, eye level. That's my horizon line, and I now need the first uh, ver vertical corner closest to me of the house. So, so this is the closest corner to me. The walls will go off in two different directions. One to the right, one to the left. Walls to this side, walls to this side. I do my little trick again to find... Uh, where my ground angle is, and so I'll turn around and back there. So you go off here, and where this meets, that's going to be my vanishing point out there. I do the same to this side. I can do it here, or I can go up to the roof and look down this way if I want, and we'll say the vanishing point's there. All walls that go in this direction, we can call them our easterly walls, will all go to this point, and all the Walls that go on the other side, that's probably our southerly walls, or they'll go to this side. So, let's start building, building our house. Pointing straight towards this finishing point, and this one, this wall, straight towards that finishing point. The top. Under the eaves, this is going to go straight to that point as well, and we'll say the wall is that long. And then we've got our end of our wall. And this one. A little bit simple, so we'll have a, uh, another wall coming out here. We've got a little addition out here, so come through here, out here, up this angle, and that's the end of that wall. Notice this is a steeper angle than that because that you're further away from this one. This one here, this one will be steeper. It goes to the same point, to there, and of course there's this one. Top one under the eaves, also down to there. Right, so this is the general shape of our house, showing in proportion. Now we've got a gable on this particular house. How do we find the angle for the gable and so on? Here's, here's my gable. Again, we can do that by our eyesight. If we want to work out exactly where it is, if we're having problems, then we do the same sort of thing we did before with our fence. So we'll put a little line through here. And a line through here. Where they cross is the visual centre. It's not really the centre of our wall, if I measured it. It's like two parts to three parts. But it's the visual centre. It appears to be the centre because of the angle it's on. A vertical from there will find the point of the gable. Let's have a gable on this side as well. So, what do we do? Cross through here, cross through here. Where they cross, vertical. Gable's going to be out here somewhere. Not too sure where yet, because we haven't done the top of our roof. Top of our roof, it will aim straight down towards this vanishing point here. Right? Okay, so let's put a line down. This wall here, this roof I should say, is going to go to this vanishing point. And that will tell us where our top of that cable is. Right, 
you've noticed these quite different sort of shapes are not. We know they're a perfect triangle, isosceles triangle or something like that, but when we look at it on an angle, it looks quite different. Okay, so just a little bit of a summary. All walls on this side facing south are all pointing towards this vanishing point here. Or this one here, on the side that we're now going to call west, <laughs> will point to this side. Alright, so, the gable, you find the apparent middle, the sort of visual middle of our wall, the vertical line from there will tell us the point of our, our gable. Okay, so this is a house that is probably just sitting at our, with our eye level, sort of fairly low against the house. Anything that within that, any vertical lines, horizontal lines, are going to fit again. So we put a window in, for example, and we'll go into here, so our windows will fit into, into the same sort of framework, somewhere in here, oh, to be sorry. Nice large window to look out of. If we want to find the visual middle of that, so we can have a million on it, we do exactly the same as we did before, Chris, cross, and down through there. The visual middle, not the actual middle. The same with any other place we want to do this. I hope that helps. However, this is all very nice, making a painting with houses right in the middle of our painting. But let's say the house is up on a hill and our visual, our viewpoint and our horizon is way down here. What happens then? It's happening. We're trying to make a little bit more interesting composition by looking up at the house high on the hill. So our viewpoint down the bottom here, here's our eye level or horizon. The house is going to be up on the top of the hill here. So let's go. Start again the same as we did before with a vertical of the wall that's closest to us. Now, all of the walls on this side are going to be pointing down to, we'll make a vanishing point here just so it fits on the page. It could be a way out here, in which case a little bit more difficult. We've got to sort of imagine it or put something out here. However, we're going to make them on the page just for the convenience of this. Right, so our first walls, top of the roof, pointing to there, end of the wall. This one here, end of the wall. Small wall coming out here. Next one, down here. As you see, we can't do the uh, bottom of because we can't see it. The hill's in the road. Okay, so we've worked out our crisscross and we've worked out where our gable's going to be and it's up here somewhere. Now you'll notice that when I come from the point of the gable here and try and go down here, it's going to be hidden by the house. So I don't see the top. I don't see the top of the roof at all because it's way above and I can't see it. You can just see a tiny bit of that one. Alright? So it's quite easy to move a house into a different position. You don't need to do it just where you saw it. You can say, I want to put that up on a bit of a hill. It will make a much more interesting composition. So always remember when you're composing your painting, think about your eye level, think about your viewpoint. And this is going to determine quite a lot about your painting and you can make much more interesting paintings than just what you might see in a photograph. Remember, put some colour in your life.